Chapter number 2 Exploring Earth Exercise 2.1 Words in Context Read each sentence look at the nonsense word in bold think of a real word to replace it rewrite the sentence with your real word the fish plumped right out of the water the fish jumped right out of the water the delighted fisherman boggled plenty of fish the delighted fisherman caught plenty of fish we splunged into cold icy water we dived into the cold icy water in the storm the ship kabooshed on the rocks in the storm the ship crashed onto the rocks the ship galloped to the bottom of the sea the ship sank to the bottom of the sea human waste scatters the earth's natural environments human waste pollutes the earth's natural environments make up your own silly sentence use a nonsense word to replace a main word ask your partner to read the sentence and work out the meaning of the word using the context of the sentence i boggled a book from the library i borrowed a book from the library use the words in the vocabulary boxes to fill in the spaces you can use a dictionary to help you There are 25,000 known species of fish. Fish live in water and breathe with gills. All fish are vertebrates and have a backbone. Fish are cold-blooded, which means their internal body temperature changes as the surrounding temperature changes. All fish share these common characteristics but are actually diverse in other characteristics like appearance. Use these words in your own sentences. keep them in the word class shown in the bracket after you have written your sentences ask your partner to read them and check for meaning and punctuation earthquake noun the earthquake caused a lot of damage enormous adjective the enormous crocodile had sharp white teeth survived verb the small boat survived the thunderstorm dangerous adjective we were advised not to drive on the dangerous road forest noun they got lost in the forest exercise 2.2 keywords phrases and sentences a sentence is a group of words that has a verb and makes complete sense it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop Sentences are used to ask and answer questions, give commands or instructions and form paragraphs. A phrase is a group of words that form a part of a sentence. Phrases are used to write headings and make notes. A phrase can also describe the noun or the verb. A keyword is the main word in a sentence. Keywords are used to highlight the main idea. Keywords are usually the most important nouns and verbs in a sentence. Decide if the following are keywords, phrases or sentences. Write the answers on the lines provided. Species: fish, sea. Keywords: many species of fish. Phrase: there are many species of fish in the sea. Sentence: Birds of prey have strong hooked beaks and sharp talons. Sentence: Five main oceans of the world. Phrase: Arctic Ocean, polar bears, seals. Keywords: Habitats and homes. Phrase: Land, sea, sky. Keywords: Keywords and phrases make sense when they're connected to a main idea. Add keywords and phrases to the following main ideas. The first one has been done for you. Main idea, keywords, phrase. Dinosaurs, fossils extinct millions of years ago. Fish, gills, scales. Swim in water. Insects, little wings, many small species. Birds, feathers, beaks, nest in trees. plants leaves 
roots grow towards sunlight the sun star light center of the solar system choose keywords and phrases from activity 1 or 2 write three complete sentences of your own the sun is a star that lies at the center of the solar system and provides us with light fish covered in shiny scales can be found swimming in waters all around the world birds use their feathers for flying and often build nests in trees to lay their eggs exercise 2.3 make notes and summarize read the mind map and answer the questions what is the main topic the sea what are the five subtopics fun activities sea creatures stories natural features and industry under which heading would you add pirates stories where would you add a topic like tsunamis natural features waves can you think of any other subtopics exploration now redraw the mind map and add these keywords and phrases add new headings if needed c marine life whales and dolphins tuna starfish industry trading oil rigs natural features ice shells activities surfing sailing fishing diving exploration explorers islands shipwrecks stories poseidon god of the sea pirates write a short paragraph about the sea from your notes use keywords phrases and sentences from activities 1 and 2 to make your own sentences the first sentence has been done for you the sea is a vital part of a wonderful world it provides a home to various sea creatures like fish mammals and other marine life the sea also supports industries such as fishing and oil rigs people enjoy fun activities like diving surfing and sailing on the sea additionally the sea inspires stories myths and legends the famous characters like poseidon the god of the sea and pirates from old tales exercise 2.4 past present and future tense when we speak and write we use three main tenses the past tense the present tense and the future tense we can identify the tense by looking at the verb the verb to be can be used on its own as the main verb i am late or to support the main verb as a helping verb i am thinking notice that we use will as a helping verb in the future tense as a main verb to show a state of being past i was cold you were cold he she it was cold we you they were cold present i am cold you are cold he she it is cold we you they are cold future i will be cold you will be cold he she it will be cold we you they will be cold as a helping verb continuous tense to show action i was walking you were walking he she it was walking we you they were walking present i am walking you are walking he she it is walking we you they are walking i will be walking you will be walking he she it will be walking we you they will be walking underline the verbs in each sentence say if each sentence is written in the past present or future tense I'm watching the starfish in a rock pool. I'm watching present. Next week we will be going to the seaside. Will be going future. She is excited about the holiday. Is excited present. Yesterday we were looking for dolphins in the sea. Were looking past. I was going to the library but I changed my mind. Was going past my friends will be joining me later will be joining future 
you are keeping the fish in the you are keeping the fish tank clean are keeping present he is checking your homework present write the verbs in past and future tense i am going i was going i will be going a party is happening here a party was happening a party will be happening they are coming they were coming they will be coming it is raining it was raining it will be raining i am interested i was interested i will be interested we are excited we were excited we will be excited the show is over the show was over the show will be over adding ing when we add the suffix ing to the end of a word the spelling of the root word sometimes changes write the words correctly then explain what happens walk plus ing is equal to walking walk does not change when you add ing eat plus ing gives you eating the root word eat is the same we just added the ing clapping clapping we have doubled the consonant and added ing so p comes two times trying the root word did not change we just added ing arrange plus ing gives you arranging drop the e add ing swimming double the consonant and add ing riding drop the e and add ing being add ing change these verbs into future tense and write the sentences correctly i am going to the library i will be going to the library there are many new books on birds in the library there will be many new books on birds in the library some animals were in danger of extinction some animals will be in danger of extinction everyone is glad to see the dolphins everyone will be glad to see the dolphins there is a new animal sanctuary close to us there will be a new animal sanctuary close to us exercise 2.5 organizing information look at the contents page and answer the questions how many chapters are there in the book there are 3 chapters fishes mollusks and sea mammals what is the book about make up a title sea life where would you find out about collecting shells chapter 2 where would you find out about whale watching page 15 each chapter has a fun activity what are they and what page is each one on page 5 keeping fish as pets page 11 how to start a shell collection page 16 making sea mammal models unjumble the words in this index rewrite the words in the correct alphabetical order alligator amazon ant arctic fox asia deep water desert snake diet dolphin dragonfly gazelle gecko giraffe goose gull kangaroo king cobra koala bear komodo dragon krill For exercises 2.6 to 2.12 please visit our Patreon account patreon.com/gamerjansers link is in the description